Okay, number sense, factors, still looking at how to work with factors and some index numbers. And today we're going to talk about squares. That's something we hear a lot in math and science, squares or squared. You might, you know, centimeters squared or five squared. And what does that really mean? And well, squares are really just a special kind of index number. Okay? Um, and they are index numbers and they really they get their name from the idea of you guessed it a square okay um, in geometry the shape of a square if i want to find the area i multiply the length times the width and a square has exactly the same sides therefore let's imagine it's uh four and four okay so this the sides are four times four so the area, if I take those sides and I flip them over into a, an area equation, 4 times 4, well, that's just a short way of writing 4 to the power of 2. But anytime we have something to the power of 2, we often we give it the special name of being square or squared. Okay? Now, squares are and squared is not any kind any different than index numbers. It's just to the power of 2. It's just like saying instead of 1 over 2, we call that half. right? Or times 2, it, we use the word double. Okay? So it's just we're using a different word because it's very common and uh, we often say squared. All right? But it's the idea of the same number times itself. Now we use that a lot and knowing your squares can be very helpful. The, and if we think about our uh, times table, we should know most of these square numbers. And a square number is the number that has is the answer to something squared. Okay, that, let's see what that means. One is one times itself, one times one is one. Okay? Let's, what about the number two? Two times the number itself is four. So four, we call it a square number. It's 2 times 2, or 2 squared is 4. Um, for the number 3, if I square 3, 3 squared is 9. Okay. 4 squared is 16. And we can continue our, uh, our series here. And it's a good idea to know most of these square numbers. And if we know our times table, 6 times 6, 36. We might call that 6 squared. Okay. And it's a good number to know these. Know that 49 is equal to the number 7 times 7. Okay. That 64 is equal to 8 times 8 because they are going to help us uh, in our next video on square roots. Might want to pause now so you can copy this table. It's a good resource to have.